Hi everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today guys we're going to take a look at just a stunning 1969 Dodge Cornette. This is a true RT car guys, very rare car, one of uh, I think 1541 ever built. This is a uh, 440 True RT factory four-speed car. It's also a track pack car with a Dana 410 rear end in it. Uh, killer car. Car was actually out of Oregon. Uh, it was restored um, uh, in actually in 2008. We have all the documentation for the restoration. Um, it, uh, it it but it re there's really not many miles on the car. There's less than a thousand miles on the car since it's been uh, restored. And again, we have all the receipts for the restoration. Uh, we also have. Um, uh, pictures of the car with no paint on it. This is a factory B5 blue car with a factory interior in it. It's Ram Charger hood. Um, I love the wheels and tires. It's got the BF Goodrich uh, radio red lines on it with the 15-inch uh, Magnums. Um, it's not a matching numbers car, but it does have a 69 block in it. Gorgeous paint. Um, I will tell you this thing runs and drives excellent uh, my buddy Mike is the one who actually found this car for me he's been driving a little bit uh, but everybody here that drove it just could not believe the way this thing drives it really hits the road nice gorgeous pay again original B5 blue car true RT and really nicely done Factory side scoops. Oh, I'll have Eddie make sure that gets put up. That's a little uh, sail panel there in the back. It's popped down. Those can be a little bit of pain. They're right from the factory. They're just cardboard. So I'll have Eddie slide it back in the thing up there. Original tail panel. It's in great shape. You can pick it a little bit. Those are not easy to come by right there, guys. Nice and straight down the sides. Factory chrome tips. Pretty, pretty car. I didn't really see a whole lot you can really nitpick. I mean, paint and body are just slick as can be. Always miss the wheel opening those little splash on those. Um, again, uh, 15 inch Magnums, BF Goodrich, uh, 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 Silvertown ra uh, radio red lines. Those aren't bias flies, so they drive a little better. <coughs> Pretty paint, you see the metallic in it. That's just a nice, nice car. Not a matching numbers car, but it does have a 69 block in it. Four barrel. Um, doggone, I can't remember who did the engine. There's a receipt in there for the engine, but I know it's got Hypertech pistons, huge camshaft, but pretty much, you know, just a step above stock. Uh, stock intake and exhaust manifolds. Factory manual steering, manual brake carts, where they came with a four speed. Uh, does have the Mopar um, radiator with the shroud. And again, it is a factory D21 four-speed car. Again, Ram Charger hood. Cool options. And like I say, amazing the way this thing hits the road. Here's your fender tag. Again, detailed up really nice underneath the hood. stainless on the car. It's really nice. Uh, I've got uh, Cornet RT uh, mats coming for it. Boy, that 8-pillar chrome is really nice. You can pick it a little bit right there, but man, 
I'd say those are replaced. Factory chrome rear, uh, new door handles, new door or uh, new, new fuzzies, new door rubbers. You can see how nice the doors are. This is all new interior bucket seats, uh, remote uh, mirror. Again, I've got the RT mats coming. New carpet, new sill plates. It is uh, bucket seats with the buddy seat and the uh, factory hearse shifter. It's a tack engage car. The tack's acting up, guys. I will have Steve peek at it. Um, it just, he said it would kind of function. So I've seen it actually work, but now it's kind of dropped down. So, but again, this car has been sitting in storage. Like uh, 76, 767. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself on my thoughts here. Um, it was really just sitting in storage. I know the factory AM radio works. Uh, he's put an aftermarket oil pressure gauge there. Again, factory hearse shifter. Um, you know, when Mike got it, it, it really was sitting in storage. And uh, there really wasn't many miles put on it. Mike's been driving it. And uh, he said the tack would function, but it was kind of off. It wasn't correct. So, and now it's kind of, I don't know if we've lost connection or what, but I will have Steve take a peek at that. But I'm almost betting uh, it's going to need a new tack. All body color in here. I believe this car is original panel car. You can see it's got the original insulation and everything on it. Here's, again, ton of pictures of the car stripped down. Um, ton of receipts on the restoration. Nice car. Nice underneath. Uh, Dana, 410 track pack car. Ah, boys missed the door here. A little dust. And make sure they get that light down. See, the door's nice and clean. Yeah, they missed it over here. Again, seats are nice. They've been all redone. Like I say, the factory AM radio works. Blower motor works. You can see that tack just kind of dangling there. So I don't know if it's... It could just be a connection. But... They've definitely replaced that A-pillar chrome. That's nice. a bunch of these in it. Again, car just hits the road great. Love that Ram Charger hood. Again, just a little cam to it. Not, you know, maybe a step over stock. Nothing crazy. that hood on that car yeah you just don't see these cars like i've uh 1551 built and attack. well no it's moving you can see it's moving so like i say it might just be a connection we'll check it uh parking brake does work Good sound in 440, man. Radio does work, yeah, it's just because of the building it works at. It. Blower motor works, good oil pressure on it. Um, like I say, good car, man. Good, tight car. Ah, one of our wipers must come unhooked. <laughs> Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. I cannot stress that enough. You can do that by clicking a little button there at the bottom. Then you get a notification every time I post a new video, guys. That is a pretty car. Pretty, pretty car.
Have a great day, guys.